Good morning from Florida in the backyard of my parents. So I just wanted to get a quick workout in for you guys today. Um, it's going to be about 25 minutes. Glutes and abs. So I do have my band and I do have some weights, but you could do this whole workout with no equipment needed and you could just follow along without that equipment, okay? But we are gonna get right into it. We're gonna warm up our glutes. So we have a couple exercises all for the glutes and then we'll go right into the core after that. It's gonna be three rounds, 30 seconds. The first two 30 seconds is just gonna be warming up the glutes. So all we're gonna do is squat, lift, squat, lift back, and then go to the other leg for the next 30 seconds. All right, so we are gonna get started. Pause me if you need to get your equipment, uh, if you need to get water, a mat, whatever you need. And let's hope I don't fall into the pool and we'll be good to go. All right, 10 seconds rest. And then we'll get into that 30 seconds of just activating the glutes. So start with one leg and squat down, kick to the side, kick back, same leg. Nice and slow, we're just activating that glute, just warming up. Okay, other side. And then our first exercise, we're gonna keep the band on. We're gonna do a squat with just a regular side lift. That I will pick weight up for. So let's warm the other side up. We got a dog next to our barn. down here for almost a week. First time I'm seeing my parents' house and it's been really nice. Getting that weight, we're doing the squat with the kick out to the side. Once again, you don't need this equipment. Alternating, nice and slow. Get into those glutes. I'm guessing he doesn't like my workout. It's a great Dane. She's actually very friendly. So the next two rounds, we're going to be in the same position, same exercise. Just take a rest. If you need to put the weight down, put it down. It's still quite early here. Wanted to get this in before the sun came out. Totally. Make sure you're really sitting in those glutes. Lift that leg up. Okay, one more round of this. And then we're gonna go into a lunge with a leg lift. So I'm gonna take my band off for that. We are doing all one leg and then all the other, three rounds on each. Try to stand upright when you lift that leg. I was just catching myself leaning over. Okay? So band off. I'm going to be holding one weight in the opposite leg that's um, moving. So down, kick up. Down, kick up. wanted to hold the weight in the other hand that's totally up to you whatever your preference is or if you wanted to hold two weights totally 
your preference to there. So we're staying on the same leg. If you have heavier weights, you want to keep up in the weight, be my guest. Lunge. breathing. It's only 30 seconds each. You want to build those glutes right here. One more round on this leg and then we switch to the other leg. Keep breathing. you're going straight down in that lunge, that you're not leaning forward. All right, switching legs. So switch arms too. Shake it out. Let's hope I don't fall in the pool. This is my less stable leg, so I have to work a little bit harder. Our next move is also going to be on one leg and then the other, just regular deadlifts. You can either stagger or you can float your leg back. Two more on this side of the lunge with the leg lift. You see how I'm tapping before I lift my leg? That's so I don't fall into the pool. But if you could just get right up there, do it. really feel that in the side glute and then the leg that you're lifting you should feel that in the lower booty one more keep it going Last one on this side, and then we go to our single leg deadlifts. Whew. So normally I would float my leg, but I think I'm going to stagger for now. So go to the first leg that you started with the lunges. So staggering, you're not doing anything with this leg. It's just hanging out in the back. Front leg is slightly bent. Should be all in the glute. Go down nice and slow. And squeeze that butt. Two more on that side. side and then we switch to the other leg. Already drenched. I have been. <laughs> but it is a little nasty out here. Already. The humidity is much different down here than New York. So 
last one on this leg and we're switching to the other one. Five, four. Okay. Other side. Come on guys, keep it going. I know, it hurts. Stagger, slightly bent. Once again, you can hold the weight in the other hand or have no weight at all. Just get down lower into that booty if you have no weight. Or you can even make this a plyo move. Hop up instead of doing a regular deadlift. You can step back and hop up. If you have no weights and you want to get a little bit more out of this, of the muscle that you're moving and the muscle that you're working because you will work it that much more. Okay, one more and then we're going to get down for bridges. I'm going to put my band on for that because at the top we're going to do an abduction. I'm also going to put a weight on my hips. Once again, you can do bridges with nothing. You will feel it. right here. I'm going to do a couple extra since I missed. So you're coming up, opening the legs, coming back down. Squeeze. Just hover over the bottom. Don't come all the way down. You don't want to rest. Keep it in your heels. There you can rest. Oh, I forgot to do a couple extra. I'm gonna push up early here. Okay, get into it. Already on the second round here, the next one is going to be a donkey kickback and a hydrant. Normally I would leave my band on, but this one is my heavy band and it's kind of hard to do that move with it. So I am gonna take it off just to get more out of that exercise. And yes, we're doing one leg and then the other. Okay, one more here. And then we're switching. Bring it up, abduction, down. going. Really squeeze the buns. Okay. So no wait for the next one. Get on all fours. You're going to kick up with your foot flat, bring it down, come out. rounds on one leg, three on the other. Make sure you're keeping all the work in your leg. And you're not using the rest of your body to throw your leg around. Rest it for a second. 
It's our last exercise on each leg in this glute section, and then we go on to our abs. switching it over. Come on, last leg exercise here. Remember, keep that foot flat when you're pushing it up to the sky or ceiling, wherever you are. more on this side. Keep it going. So close. I think we have five ab moves. Yes, three rounds, 30 seconds. You can do it. Now that stabilizing leg, that probably is burning too. That is totally normal. It's because you already worked it. One more. Last one here. Then we have pullover crunches. So you can use a weight. I will be using weight for that. Or you don't need weight at all, like I said in the beginning. Okay. So one weight. Come on down. So weight here, you're going to pull it over and crunch up. Fast move. Keep it in that core. Come down nice and slow. One vertebrae at a time. Keep it in the abs. Pull the weight over the head. You'll feel that stretch in your abs. I'm gonna grab another weight for the next two rounds. But whatever your level is, keep it there. If you want to do one 30 second round where it really challenges you, do it. It's the only way you're going to grow, the only way you're going to change. If you keep doing the same thing, you're going to see the same results. You got to switch it up. You got to pick up weights. You got to give it more intensity if you want change. Okay, last one here. And then we have seated kickouts, I believe. Here we go. 
going. Almost done here. Okay, <clears throat> so you can hold the weight or not, either above your head, which is obviously a little more advanced, or at your chest. Get up on the glutes, lift your legs up. You're just gonna count nice and slow. a little bit those quads but keep it in your abs that's why you got to focus on the muscles that you're using on the muscles that you're working and you'll feel it that much more two more rounds there that breath too. When you do that, you're, you're working your abs that much more. One more. I know it's burning, but you got it. You got this. You got this. You got this. You got this. Last one. Then we have a pike up reverse crunch or leg drops lifting the leg. That sounds less uh, intimidating. Keep going, come on. Eight. here. We have two more to go. Really control this one too. Keep it in the abs. Slow on the way down. And slow on the way up. Two more there. You got this. Come on. We're so close. Don't quit now. Lift your butt up. Just do regular leg lifts. Bend your knees a little bit. Make it a little more easier for yourself if you can't get through this. Doing the full exercise. If you want to finish, if you want to get to the end, do what you need to do. Keep your form good. Come on, one more. And then we have... crunch up with a toe touch. Come on, last one here. Next one is crunch up, toe tap. You got that? Crunch up, toe tap. You see, I'm not coming all the way down. I'm floating my shoulders, floating my legs, but if you can't come all the way down, bring it up. This is a very advanced move. So if you need to modify, please modify. It's okay. Two more there. Then we have one more move and you guys are done. Two. 
had one more. I'm drenched. I think I might roll into the pool after this. Do you hear how I'm using my breath? It helps, believe me. Now I got off track. Oh, <laughs> keep going. Come on. Our next move is a plank move. Oh, okay. So you're gonna plank it up and you're gonna pull the knees in and you're gonna arch your back. It's called a hollow. So plank, hollow. It's a slow move, alternating the knees. Really pull that back up, pull your knee in. Come on. Two more there and you are done. Oh my God. Oh, can you stretch out for a second right here? Get back into it. seconds. You can do it. And if you're inside an AC, oh, you got it good right now. You got it good. jump in the shower, do what you got to do. Thanks for joining me. Subscribe, like, share, and have a great day. See you guys later.